नमस्कार वेलकम टू वीकली वेदर डिस्कशन ऑफ थर्ड अगस्त आई एम डॉक्टर आनंद कुमार दास इज सीनियर साइंटिस्ट फ्रॉम इंडिया मेटोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट टुडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द वेदर ऑफ पास्ट वीक्स एज वेल एज विल बी गिविंग द फोरकास्ट ऑफ कमिंग टू वीक्स सो हियर वी विल बी गोइंग थ्रू डे बाई डे व्हाट वॉज द वेदर सिचुएशन and here we can see the monsoon trough uh, every day it is in red lines and it is relative position of the trough from the uh, normal line the normal position that is the blue line so and there that is the main uh, weather para uh, parameter of monsoon that is the monsoon trough and then along with we can see some other uh, weather systems like western disturbances uh, we can see on 27 there are western disturbances that uh, actually uh, passes away then next another fresh western disturbances came on 28th july and it uh, uh, persisted and moved eastward gradually towards indian region and finally on 1st august it uh, moved north eastward over our jammu and kashmir then another wd this is the third wd that 31st july it started from this 62 degree uh, then uh, 27 degree north uh, 62 degree longitude and 27 degree north then it also moved eastward and today uh, to, uh, second august it was over 70 degree and uh, 32 de degree uh, just over pakistan region so these are the Uh, system and then there are low pressure system of monsoon one low pressure is, uh, was there on 27th july over south odisha and uh, this this low pressure area here we can see this uh, over sa south odisha and north andhra pradesh and that the low pressure area actually uh, became less marked next day and went inside but associated cyclonic circulation persisted there and it moved north eastward towards uh, north odisha jharkhand adjoining jharkhand and gangetic west bengal then main weather system actually the deep depression actually, which uh, actually come from uh, the north north odisha uh, that cyclonic circulation became low on 29th then 30th it become low pressure area over northwest bay so gradually it moved eastward actually and then uh, on 1st august concentrated into a uh, uh, depression uh, here over northeast uh, bay of uh, bengal and then it moved gradually first initially uh, northwestward then west northwestward and uh fast it uh, first in the morning it become deep depression <coughs> then it crossed in the evening it uh, it uh, crossed the bangladesh coast near khepupara close to khepupara and then uh, 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 gradually it went inside over bangladesh the, on fast and moved uh, towards uh, gangetic west bengal and then on second morning it reached over uh, gangetic west bengal and then gradually further it moved uh, uh, over jharkhand uh, on uh, second uh, then third morning it reached over north chatisgarh and today uh, in the morning it was uh, over north chatisgarh but in the evening it became well marked low again so this is the main weather system the deep depression and due to that what so whatever the weather system in the last week due to that this is the rainfall scenario of the week so and so here we can see different rainfall zones and due to different weather system so first that first low pressure system uh, what uh, on 27th that uh, with uh, associated cyclonic circulation actually uh, caused havoc rain over telangana region and 
this is the exceptionally heavy rain and uh, we can see that 65 centimeter one person Lakshmi Devi Peta that 65 centimeter then Chityal then 62 centimeter so huge rainfall happened over Telangana due to the system then that uh, next if we see that uh, another uh, west coast that is due to strong wind the west coast region actually got good rainfall uh, that is the um, uh, normal feature of the monsoon season and then uh, there are uh, some uh, rainfall over this region due to east west sear zone uh, around 18 degree so then wd uh, along with monsoon flow the interaction that caused rainfall over uh, this region here we can see this region and then monsoon trough uh, was there due to that uh, along foothills uh, their rainfall uh, region but main rainfall happened due to this deep depression uh, from 1 to 3rd August and that as it uh, the uh, movement of the depression was like along this and we can see that south of that uh, movement, uh, trap, uh, track that we can see that uh, heavy exceptionally heavy rainfall happened over um, Orissa then also North Chhattisgarh and then uh, uh, East MP and um, so this and here we can see that uh, over Odisha uh, the th uh, 31st uh, July the uh, rainfall happened and this was recorded 259.2 over Bhubaneswar that actually uh, record breaking event over Bhubaneswar and then uh, the second also there was 390.6 millimeter uh, rainfall over both guard. so rainfall for 31st and fast and uh, also today so a lot of rainfall ha uh, happened uh, over this region and here we can see this is the exceptionally uh, heavy rainfall happened water with the extremes over uh, Odisha state and here we can see that uh, num 22 station recorded extremely heavy rainfall and very heavy ra rainfall recorded 58 station and heavy rainfall 75 station nearly here we can see that a uh, lot of uh, districts actually having uh, red and then uh, uh, orange red and orange only few uh, districts uh, along coast uh, green or yellow otherwise you, we can see that uh, Orissa, North Orissa and uh, interior Orissa all are orange and red and due to all those rainfall activity what, uh, what is the weekly situation uh, although there are uh, uh, main one depression but uh, the rainfall belt was limited over certain region and that's why the uh, rainfall total rainfall actually still it is the all India minus 4% of weekly uh, if we see the weekly uh, departure from the normal it is minus 4% and here we can see the deficient was 15 uh, number of subdivision uh, were uh, deficient and uh, normal 11 and excess only 4 and uh, large excess is 3 so that is large excess is only that uh, region we can see here uh, Orisha, Telangana these regions and <coughs> so this is the uh, weekly scenario and what is the seasonal uh, uh, departure scenario we can see here uh, that uh, this is plus 4 percent so this this week also uh, only minus 4 percent uh, uh, all India so the, the seasonal it only uh, 1 percent uh, less uh, that is five last week it was plus five percent now it is four percent here we can see this is the mostly all uh, are uh, large excess or excess or normal only six uh, subdivision are deficient here we can see this Kerala, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Jharkhand, Ganges, West Bengal and NMMT this these are the only six subdivision uh, uh, deficient and today if this is the uh, synoptic system here we can see the WD is still there uh, then this is the uh, uh, trough here uh, starting from Amritsar, Karnal, Mirat, Alabad then it is through the depression center uh, up to northeast Bay of Bengal it is extended and it is we can see it is nearly 
uh, close to uh, or south of the eastern end is south of the normal position and uh, this, this is the uh, today's um, uh, satellite here this due to the system we can see a lot of clouding here over uh, mp uh, this is create uh, uh, giving lot of rain and here day one that's why we have given uh, this is the warning scenario here we can see that uh, mp whole mp then uh, Ch chhattisgarh and vidarbha this region will be getting lot of rain and uh, adjoining areas also of U south up will be also uh, getting rain and uh, maharashtra region so then here we can see this is the colored uh, color coded warning uh, accordingly and this is the day two here again uh, the mp will be giving uh, getting will be getting lot of rain here uh, over uh, second day two means fourth august also and then as the system will be uh, going little uh, 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 this side uh, over uh, north uh, northeast mp then uh, uh, that adjoining areas of up also will be getting rain so here we can see this this is the area and day three uh, the, due to the system will be uh, remaining over there re that region so uh, so you uh, west up and uh, mp and those uh, east rajasthan then adjoining area will be also uh, getting so the, we can get the warning set, uh, here and sixth seventh so this is the seventh so gradually that system uh, actually uh, uh, dissipated and uh, here uh, this this is the um, trough due to trough position this is the rain scenario now uh, we'll be talking about the forecast for next two weeks here this is the rainfall for week one and week two and this is the rainfall anomaly from the uh, climate normal here uh, we can see that the rainfall uh, is this due to this system actually rainfall will be there over uh, this uh, Madhya Pradesh central India region and as well as West India like Gujarat and uh, Madhya Maharashtra and suddenly with that uh, along west coast there will be rain and then uh, that due to that system that week one will be uh, the rainfall will be over that region the peninsula will not be getting any rain but week two uh, there will be uh, rain uh, th this region again due to uh, that uh, some uh, low pressure and monsoon trough will be situating over there and some uh, probable cyclonic circulation will be there so due to that uh, that rainfall will be there so uh, northeast and east central india will be having uh, heavy rainfall good rainfall and then uh, but south peninsular india and northwest india uh, that some parts that will not be getting that much of their that they will be getting uh, scattered or uh, isolated rainfall heavy rainfall then uh, overall uh, situation rainfall activity if we see the normal or above normal will be over northeast so here we, we can see over northeast or east central india over uh, and then uh, otherwise the many parts of this uh, south peninsular india or uh, uh, northwest india that will be uh, below normal and uh, this is the uh, rainfall scenario now if we see the uh, maximum temperature scenario here we can see that the rainfall will be uh, uh, sorry temperature maximum temperature will be 34 to 38 degree centigrade over india and uh, this is the scenario also sec week two but uh, here if we see the uh, week one it is uh, 2 to 4 degree uh, here some 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 area 2 to 4 degree uh, otherwise it is negative here 2 to 4 degree that is northwest india some parts and odisha uh, and south chhattisgarh gangetic west bengal and bihar this area and some pockets of that coastal karnataka so here uh, tamil nadu only there you can we can get some above normal uh, the maximum temperature uh, and these regions also will be that above normal maximum temperature will, continue, will be continuing over the same region week two as well then if we see the minimum temperature then here 
uh, minimum temperature will be between 20 to 30 degree over uh, this uh, region we, we can see except that uh, Himalayan region otherwise it is within 20 to 30 degree and if you see the anomaly then that is below, above normal temperature minimum temperature will be over central and uh, this central and peninsular India and west India. So this is the uh, minimum temperature and if we see the uh, uh, cyclogenesis uh, uh, forecast for uh, two weeks then there will be no cyclogenesis but this well, uh, already well marked low pressure <coughs> situating over uh, North Chhattisgarh that will be moving little uh, northwest west northwest toward over uh, stem, northeast MP and then it will be uh, over that region for some time and due to that uh, there will be some weather over uh, that Madhya Pradesh and uh, adjoining uh, areas and the, uh, over uh, this week one then latter part of the week uh, then another cyclonic so there is a probability low probability of formation of a fresh cyclonic circulation uh, around 9th over uh, this north east bay and uh, uh, north bay and uh, uh, of uh, adjoining Bangladesh coast and that will gradually move again west northwest toward towards our Indian region, Gangeti, West Bengal and that side. So that subsequent three days it will be uh, moving towards that region and it will again give some weather. So this is the uh, weather scenario for uh, next two weeks. Thank you. Uh, if you want to uh, know more about the weather then you, you can visit our uh, websites and you can follow uh, us in Twitter, Facebook, Instagram or uh, social media and then we, uh, we you, uh, you can you are also requested to use our mobile app to get uh, other information on your mobile so uh, again we'll be meeting next week thank you